Hi, everybody. It's Mark. How you doing today? I got a question for you. This is a silly question, but uh, left or right? Right or left? Ford or Chevy? Or Dodge? Or strawberry, vanilla, chocolate? What kind of ice cream? Basically, what I'm just saying here in a silly way is I'm asking, how do you make decisions? What decisions do you choose to make? And what is your decision process? Because I think a lot of us, especially lately, have kind of run into, I'm going to call it choice overload, because I know things have not been easy these last few years. And again, this year has been brutal for most of us. But I think a lot of us can relate to the fact that we're having a little more difficulty making decisions lately, even for small things. Now, I'm going to use me as a real quick example. This morning, I literally wasted 20 minutes of my time trying to figure out what cologne I wanted to wear because I knew what I wanted, but I also, at the same time, I didn't want to offend anybody. I didn't want to, you know, even just a couple of sprays or something, I didn't want to make anybody else upset and I didn't want to bother anybody else. But I use, I use Stinkies as kind of aromatherapy for me, so I don't really wear a whole lot anyway. But I literally wasted all that time trying to figure out what to do. And it's like, why? That really wasn't a very big dramatic decision. So how many of us are getting paralyzed by the small stuff and sweating the small stuff? And then on top of that, having all these big dramatic decisions or what we've built up in our minds to be big dramatic decisions. Should I quit my job? Do I find a different job? Do I wait for the job that I applied for to get back to me before I apply to 15 other jobs? What do I do? Which way do I go? How do I deal with this? And uh, I think you can kind of relate to what I'm talking about, right? So as a suggestion, a couple of things that you can do, and this is what I ended up doing this morning, was I sat there in my head going, okay, which one do I want? Yeah, I want that. Okay. Why am I telling myself, well, what about this and this and this and this and this? And part of that was FOMO. Part of that was fear of missing out. But a lot of it, honestly, was I didn't want to make a mistake. I didn't want to make a, quote, wrong decision. And this is something where we all get caught up in so often is we deal in absolutes in our mind. Well, I don't want to make a mistake. I want to do this properly. I want to be the right answer for this. But in life, how often is there really a solid yes or no, a right or a wrong? You know, how often is there really an answer like that? So you have to kind of look at, what is the best decision for me under the current circumstances? Not, okay, this is the right choice. Look at, this is the best choice I can make right now. And I think you'll find that if you can do that in your mind and say, this is the best decision I can make for me right now, and then move on and follow through with that decision and not keep second guessing yourself, not keep doubting, I think you'll find it will make your decision process go much more smoothly. But also at the same time, I think what you'll find is that life will go more smoothly. When you make a decision, you stick with it. And then later on down the road, you can always kind of reevaluate. But try and follow through whenever you make a decision. I think you'll find that it will make things a lot easier, not just in the decision-making process, but just in life in general. So here I am, once again, wishing you all a day filled with promise, opportunity, joy, and happiness. Thanks.